When something spills, you usually decide how to clean it up based on what it is. The same holds true even if the spill is a big one, a really big one. A firm in Boca Raton, Florida, called Geosyntec, has been working with NASA researchers at Kennedy Space Center on environmental cleanup at the Space Center. At Kennedy during the Apollo era, spaceflight hardware was cleaned with trichloroethylene, also known as TCE. TCE is heavier than water. If spilled, it can sink in groundwater, contaminating the aquifer, which is often a source of drinking water. In 1999, Geosyntec received a Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR award, as well as a Small Business Technology Transfer, or STTR award, from Kennedy to help the Space Center solve different aspects of their cleanup efforts. Both the SBIR and STTR projects were looking at ways to try and treat these contaminants in the ground without having to pull them out, uh, with the thought being if we could treat them in the ground, it would be much more cost effective. Under the SBIR contract, the firm investigated biological methods to degrade the contaminants. Previously, no one had tried to use the biological approach in such a large source area with nearly pure TCE product. Working with researchers at the University of Toronto, Geosyntec developed a group of biological organisms called KB1, which they injected into a contaminated site at Kennedy. The results showed that the bio-augmentation using KB1 worked. Under the STTR contract, the firm partnered with the University of Central Florida to look at using a technology called Emulsified Zero Valent Iron, or EZVI, as a solution for TCE source areas. The EZVI technology was developed by Dr. Jackie Quinn at the Space Center and researchers at the University of Central Florida. Laboratory and field studies have demonstrated that EZVI is effective in converting TCE into non-toxic compounds, and Geosyntec has now licensed the technology from NASA. Using the EZVI put a new twist on the original ZVI method of remediation by using an emulsified oil and injecting it into the TCE source areas. It basically breaks down to a compound, eventually to a compound called ethene, which is non-toxic and that's what we're trying to, to achieve when we're degrading TCE. According to Dr. Quinn, the challenge for the EZVI method was finding the right injection method to get into the aquifer. But Geosyntec had considerable experience in that area and were successful at getting the EZVI to the contaminants to neutralize them. The EZVI technology has now been recognized as a NASA invention as well as Commercial Invention of the Year award. From their work on the two contracts, Geosyntec learned that the technologies may actually work well together for treating sites at Kennedy. The emulsified oil in the EZVI can act as food for the contaminants to aid the KB1. The firm has been working with the Space Center on additional site remediation. At various center locations, Geosyntec investigated the sites, characterized the contaminants, and identified materials that needed to be removed. They then also managed the removal process. By partnering, Geosyntec and NASA developed the successful SBIR and STTR treatment technologies that are now considered primary options for treating contaminated groundwater sites at Kennedy. Dr. Quinn believes that from the collaboration, NASA gained technical know-how with regards to field deployment and assessment. With the SBIR, we've now realized that we can go into the source areas where we have uh, very high concentrations of TCE and use bioaugmentation or enhanced bioremediation to go ahead and remediate those.